Another Melody Stuck in My Head. Pandemic Diaries, Episode 2. Freshly laundered sheets in the morning to clear my mind. White flags waving their surrender in the approaching storm. Felt like my mind was filled to the brim with thoughts I could make no sense of. Waiting for the electricity to charge the air as it would. Yet that patience was in vain. No lightning to keep me company in the space between us. So void of meaning, of anything that would progress things. I pulled the trees up by their roots. Each season, a new lover, a new lover on my mind. Simply hated how long you'd been on mine this time. The paper stars spinning their silent turns. Looked at their shadows dancing on the floor. Did I just attach meaning to you because you were there? Were you just lazily rotating in my general vicinity? Did I simply reject everyone because they'd have embraced me like you never would? I carried my flower children through that artificial garden today, not even thinking of you. In the crisp afternoon air, under the heaviest clouds, I saw my future. I saw myself alive and filled with joy, the shadowy days only faintly present in the distance. Never knew I'd feel such peace. Their eyes lingered on me in such confusion. There he was, this boy, so lost in the space. Just lost to them, either way, for I had never felt such belonging in the present, my own perseverance. I constructed my realities based on the readings, but what was one to do with all these facial masks in the way? My voice had deepened since I met her first. So many lovers lost on Britain's speeches, barefoot in the cold sand, held closely against the storm. At night I saw the pier and, in a frenzy, a veritable haze, giggled with the knowledge that the entire world tended to just be a silly game. And I ended up being in places I was supposed to be. See, I remember the white wood, chipped wood, salty and slightly damp, the one sole hand to indicate secretive happenings. Some occult proceedings? Ordinary palmistry? I loved her in the way cherry blossoms flow through the air in utter ecstasy, before nestling into the fresh green grass. I soared through the air in utter bliss, some days feeling in a sense touch my heart as I had long forgotten of. The bug I met the other day reminded me of my friend. Maybe this is how we socialize in these times. I befriend all the forest animals before I'd ever see a way of being close to you. Buck clinging to a leaf, flumping on his back. Unfortunate, yet deeply relatable.